another video it is sunday today and it has been a while since i've put a video on we've actually been on holiday in mallorca which was so lovely and i actually did film a video pre-holiday with packing and cleaning in the house and stuff um but i didn't manage to edit it which i planned to do on the flight there but my laptop had no charge so i couldn't edit it and then i didn't really want to do it on holiday and i did take my camera with me and i really did want to film like a day in the life or just some of our bits from mallorca and i do kick myself a little bit now because i'm like why didn't i just do it but i'm always like in the middle of should i film or shouldn't i film like it's hard because a lot of the time you're obviously just like sunbathing by the pool or like swimming and these things as well, I don't really want to film because like the kids, they're obviously in like their swimming stuff and I'm in my swimming stuff and I sometimes feel uncomfortable like to put things like that um, just online filming myself. But um, I do think there could have been probably a couple of things I could have filmed so it's a little bit annoying of myself but um, maybe in the future I will get a bit more confident with that. But yeah, we're back home now and the weather is a lot colder. Um, so I thought I would spend the day with you today because we are having a really nice day actually. I wanted to just set this day aside to do something together. So I have prepared some nice food. We're gonna have a roast dinner tonight. Um, we would have had it sort of in the middle of the day but Marley is at a party at the moment um, so I thought I would get all of our autumn bits out and decorate the house because I haven't done that yet and then when he gets back we are going to go to the Ha Ha farm which has all the pumpkins so we're going to go pumpkin picking for a couple of hours and then when we get back I'll obviously pop the dinner on and we can have really nice cozy warm dinner to finish the day off it's actually really nice and sunny today it did only say it was 11 degrees but um perfect day to go out pumpkin picking so i love it when it's like a warm sunshine but it's a little bit cold so yeah i can't believe we're actually like near the end of october are we i don't have my phone to check the date but i think we're like we must be because half term is next week so the kids will be off for a week and that is when we plan to decorate for Halloween which is going to be really fun. Um, I actually haven't planned anything like this half term yet and I feel a little bit behind. I'm sure when that time comes the week will be fun and busy and um, yeah we'll have a nice time. I'm now going to go downstairs and have a look through the boxes because you know what it's like I forget literally everything that i have and sometimes i even buy things that i've already got which is just one of those things but yeah we're gonna have a good look through pop some bits out and i'll actually probably have a clean at the same time you know you just want like a nice fresh house and i want to make it all nice and cozy now the season has arrived so here we have our boxes so i think i've actually got some new bits as well which are in there i've got some cushions because i normally switch these ones up these are like my sort of more lighter ones and then i bring these ones out and i think i've got another bag actually just a little bit more texture and a bit more warm um and then i've got my boxes full with all my pumpkins i've got mugs 
and last year I couldn't get any of this out because obviously we didn't have the kitchen done and now we do so I'm really looking forward to getting this out I think that is for Halloween but I'll pop that in the cupboard because we'll probably use that and then I've got some more little bits in here that I picked up well quite a few months ago now because you have to buy it don't you but yeah how lovely are they I really love the sunflowers on them um so I'm gonna have a little organize and I'm gonna start putting some bits out because I have like my wreath along there it's not a wreath is it it's a garland I have the garland on there and I'll put some pumpkins out on there and yeah pop some bits in the kitchen and just have a little potter about and yeah I need to have a little look through here and actually see what we've got as well a few little bits out but to tell you the truth <laughs> I have too many pumpkins I felt completely overwhelmed with what to put where so I put a few bits out and then I put the rest back in the box and I feel like I'm gonna go through the box get rid of some bits because you know when you just got too much stuff that don't have a place I like everything to have its place and a lot of this stuff doesn't so yeah I'm gonna declutter it and I've kept a few little bits and I'll probably put a couple more bits up I feel like I need to clear my mind so it is anyway now one o'clock so we're just waiting for Marley to get back home and then we are gonna pop out I have just got a jumper on now and a scarf um, I've got my sunglasses so I was gonna wear a hat but actually I think I'll be all right with this and the sun is out so obviously I need my glasses and I'll just show you because I've actually um this is my little outfit I'm quite grey today which is unusual for me I got this scarf from H&M I really love this and um this jumper was also from H&M and then um I've actually got on these Uggs um, let me take one off and I'll just show you what they look like. So these are the Uggs. They remind me of a croc um, and I really wanted to get the Taz, which I did get in chocolate in the platform. But I didn't know if I would wear the chocolate because I don't really wear that colour. And I thought these black ones, I saw my friend wearing the um, chestnut ones, which I love as well. But I did think I would get a little bit more use out of these ones because yeah they're gonna go with black and grey and I wear all of these colours so they're actually really comfy and you can obviously wear the strap around the back or over the top sort of like that but I don't know if I'd wear them like that. I quite like them like this. Um so yeah what do you reckon to them? 
I can't remember what, oh I haven't taken the sticker off, I can't remember what style these are, but um, yeah, I quite like them. <laughs> This is pumpkin foraging, mate. Look how hot. Have you Look ever picked pumpkins field. like this before in the past? I've, I've never, never picked pumpkins where the fields are like this yeah, tall. Like oh my god, and I've put She's these new, new Uggs. Uggs on. What the? What an no idea that was. <laughs> and I've actually got wellies as well, but I did oh, not so know bad. it was going to be like this muddy. Like, it's not even been raining. Well, it was near ours as we left, but it's not now. Are you okay, Manny? Yeah. Look at this forest. It's taller than him. <laughs> Should we go this way? You might be able to get through better. Yeah. There's, a, there's a nice big orange one here, but someone's broken the stem. God, I am so cold as well. I could have put my coat on. Look, this is a cute one. This is Do you have to literally take it off the this stem is as well? Real pumpkin picking, look. Go and yank it, babe. <laughs> I can't. Oh my really god, you're taking, as you're well. taking the whole bloody thing. Let me grab it. Yeah, I'm oh. That's it, there you go. Keep twisting. <gasps> this is a. That's for my gym, oh. man. Oh. <laughs> Go on, babe. I can't get it. God, you're gonna have to help right. out with this because I look at my hands. Right, take a camera. <laughs> Why don't I bring any gloves? Oh, there you go. Give <laughs> me your little pumpkin, mummy. How adorable is that? What now? You okay? Ah, oh, pumpkin. Guys, look at this. There is literally. <laughs> There's no cute pictures wow. going to be taken here today. Come on, Manny. Oh, see, these ones are my favourite. Look, those ones. But again, the stem's broken. Look. Wow, I have just seen the biggest white one ever. Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't even look big on the camera, but it is huge. How am I going to get that off? Let Daddy get that one so it's, oh, it's now snap. Why is it every time you touch it, then they're okay? And then when I go to get it, like, I hurt myself. That's really cute. Let me look at that one. It's like a little pimple Aww. one. Yeah, we'll get that one. The sun's coming out. Hey. Yay. Where is it? <laughs> this is a little look at what we've got so far. I think I'm not going to replace this one, though. That does look quite nice, but... I don't know. And then I've got a little one of it. A nice white tall one. This is like the perfect little pumpkin. I've got a couple of those ones with the bobbles on. Them. And then I think Manny's just put that one in there. <laughs> so we're having a little snack. <laughs> a little snack. <laughs> just half <hard> chip buckets. <laughs> I know because we're a little bit hungry so we didn't have lunch and the time is I did a run this morning, so. three o'clock but we're gonna have a roast tonight so I feel like we're we'll sharing one yeah this ah! is nice little chip buckets with cheddar chili oh. and alioli what? they're so good oh they are pumpkins they're really nice I'm really happy with them and we're now gonna have well we're not gonna have it now but I'm gonna make a nice roast dinner so I think that'll be done in about an hour and a half so I'm gonna put the chicken on I've got the veg there already I'm just preheating the oven I got this large chicken I hope it's not a cook in the bag because I don't want to cook in the bag I don't think it is. 
because I really want to season it. I'm going to put like some onion and stuff in the tray. Let's have a look what it says. You know, I never actually read the instructions. Does anyone else read the instructions? Because I don't. I just like cook it however I think. Um, yeah, remove from the bag. Pull the legs out. Pull the legs out. Why do you pull the legs out? What does this mean? Pull the legs out to open the cavity. What's the cavity? <laughs> oh my god, this is so interesting. It says, rub butter over the skin and then season generously with sea salt and black pepper. Take one lemon, prick it all over, along one small bunch of mixed herb, place both inside the chicken cavity. Oh, it must be like inside. And then place the chicken in a roasting tray. Ooh. What does baste mean? Baste halfway through. God. And use the flavours from the chicken to make the perfect gravy. So I'm actually going to do that because I never do that. So I'm going to put some red onion in here. I'll put some seasoning on the chicken. And then... Um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. But I've got the chicken and I've got the roast potatoes, which need to do the carrots, the broccoli. I'm going to make some stuffing. I've got really nice stuffing. Let me show you. It. This one is from Tesco, a sage and red onion stuffer mix. So I'm going to make that. Um, and did I say Yorkshire puddings? I'm going to make some of them too. And so yeah, I'm going to prepare the chicken now and get this cooking so we can eat and then I'm going to have a nice shower and get in bed and watch a bit of TV. So I've got the chicken in, I've got the rice potatoes boiling and I've just made the stuffing but I thought I would just show you the little few bits that have popped out so far. So. On my shelves here, I've just put a couple of little pumpkins and my pumpkin season candle, which I love. I feel like that looks a bit like a jar, so that's why I thought I'd put it in the kitchen. And then I've put my glass pumpkin jar from Home Bargains. I already had loads of pine cones in it, so I just left it as it was and I've popped it up there. And then I have a little pumpkin here. And I've got my, this is like an oven, not an oven dish, what they call casserole dish, I think. Um, but I have that sitting on here when it's not on. And then I've popped a couple of pumpkins there. And I popped this here to put something in. I'm not really sure what, maybe some spoons or something, I don't know yet, next to sort of the coffee machine. And I've switched the syrup for pumpkin spice, so that's nice. And then this little one is fast asleep from pumpkin picking, bless him. So um, in here, I've just got on my table here my knitted pumpkins and a little candle burning, which is so cosy. And then on here, I've got my garland, which you would have seen me put out. I've got my wax melt here. Can I just say, I've had this burning. It smells incredible. Like, I got them from the range. And I think they were only like 2 99 But they smell out the whole of the downstairs. And it's just so nice and warm. It's like a vanilla scent. It's really nice. So I've got that there. I've actually changed this up. I need to add some more bits. Ignore Coco. She always meows really loudly. But yeah, I've actually took some bits off of here because I want to put something else on here. I don't quite know what to do about this space here. I never know what to put on here. I'm always a bit like undecided. But I want to keep these because I feel like these are quite nice and rustic and autumn-y. So I like those there. But I think I need something here. I don't really want to get rid of the lamp because that is nice and cosy in the evening. And then obviously I've got my pictures here. So I'm a bit like unsure what to do so I've left that for the moment 
And then on the windowsill over here, I've kept my two ornaments, but I've just added two little pumpkins. And I thought that looked quite nice as well. And then I will add these pumpkins to the sofas probably. And then this is my box that I haven't used yet. Um, I've got the cushions still to put out and I think, oh that is an empty, there's some pumpkins in here as well. Oh I got these from Amazon, these are so nice, I'd better use these because they cost me like £10 for three. <laughs> so I feel like I'd better use them. Um, and then there's one more place to show you. I've just started putting some bits on here. So I've got more pumpkins and a little mushroom candle. And then I found this leaf tray and I've got a little candle from Tika Max which I've just popped there because we're having some new photo frames put up here but Dunelm only had three and I need five more so I'm going to have all our family pictures in here on the wall which is going to look really nice so um, these are the frames that we went for they're seven pounds and then I'm going to get some pictures. I don't know whether to get black and white pictures or just normal coloured ones, but they're them. And then I've got this little mat. How cute is that? That was from Dunnell. Six pounds as well. And that's going to go out the front door. So yeah, I don't have too much out, but I do have a few things and I am happy with what I've put out so far. I feel like I had a lot more than I did. I'm always like really overwhelmed buying things because I think I've got so much and then I'm always underwhelmed with what I actually have and I've got a lot of pumpkins and I don't feel like I want to have like a million pumpkins out around the house as much as I love them I just don't feel like I need a pumpkin in every single space like what other autumny bits can I have that's what I need to shop for next year like just other seasonal bits that aren't pumpkins which I don't really know what is I know I've seen a lot of people with acorns this year is it acorns no mushrooms they had mushrooms as well in home bargains but yeah maybe like leaves and stuff like that I'm gonna have a good look on Pinterest next year because I feel like I don't know every year I'm so occupied with a holiday a wedding birthdays <laughs> so yeah I'm really happy though with what I have put out um, and I'm just waiting for my potatoes now I really want to sit down Will's playing his Harry Potter game the kids are playing their games Manny's asleep and I just want to have like five minutes sit down watch a vlog or something on YouTube so as soon as these potatoes go in that is what I'll be doing the first roast dinners of the year well probably not the year we probably had them in January but you know for this season are here. Cannot wait to eat it. We don't know if these have gone right because we sort of had to try them. <laughs> make up the measurements. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this and filling my tummy. But is this the first roast this year? Well, I don't know if it's the first roast this year, but I think it's the first roast of the season. Mm. Chicken is so good. Mm. I'm so happy. I love this so much. So I am in bed now. I have had a nice shower and I have done my skincare tonight because I can't remember the last time I did it, probably like a few days ago. But yeah, I've been wearing makeup the last couple of days. So we had a full Elemis skincare routine tonight. So I am feeling like squeaky clean and it's just so nice it looks so glowy so I did that and I'm now in bed the time is half nine so we're not actually gonna watch TV tonight we normally watch it if we're sort of in bed and ready by nine but when we sort of get past that we don't like to watch anything because we love getting an early night and if we now start something it'll probably be like an hour and then by the time you get to bed and yeah, I just love getting a good night's sleep. So um, we are currently watching Big Brother at the moment though. Um, well, I am, Will watches it sometimes, but I really am enjoying it because it really takes me back to when I was younger and I used to watch it. 
so yeah i'm really enjoying that but yeah i thought i would end the video here and i'm gonna start filming again tomorrow i'm gonna do sort of a weekly vlog a few of the bits that i get up to because i'm going to primark tomorrow and i'm also getting my hair done next week and my nails i guess i will catch up with you then thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye guys